Empowering Sellers. I'm thinking about calling all these videos Empowering Sellers because today I'm gonna to teach you how we are winning more and more reactivations with the very first plan of action. Okay, so you're faced with an Amazon ASIN, an Amazon listing deactivation, or your entire Amazon account is down. And of course, you wanna get back into business right away. And if you watch this video and it's around Christmas time or after Black Friday or after October, uh, you know you're in more of a rush at any point in time. So one of the things that we're finding very, very useful in getting ASINs reactivated and getting accounts reactivated is by taking screenshots of the invoices and putting them right into your plan of action, making it really easy, making it really efficient for whoever is on Amazon's side of the computer when they're looking at your plan of action. You want to make it really, really easy for that person. Now, we always suspected that Amazon has quotas and we confirmed that Amazon staff has quotas when we cross-examine their witnesses at arbitrations. So if you can imagine that your plan of action is going in front of someone at the beginning of their shift, they probably have plenty of time to review it and pull up the attachments that you might submit, your invoices, your documentation. But if you can also imagine a scenario where the person reading your plan of action who's reviewing it is at the end of his or her shift, and maybe they're behind or maybe they just want to get out of there and go home. And they're a bit more of a rush. So this is what we've been doing lately. While we are also attaching the invoices as an attachment, unadulterated, no circles, no arrows, nothing, nothing redacted. We're also taking a picture of it and putting it right into the plan of action, right into the document, right into the POA so that when Amazon staff opens it and they look at it, it is right there in front of them. They can see it really easily. And if they want to open up the attachment to see the entire document, they can. But we're putting it right in the body of the plan of action. And there's no reason that you can't do the same if you're writing your own plan of action.